Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, uh, one of our, I suppose, uh, final videos in our, in our series of videos on set theory, uh, is going to look at putting it all together, okay, and, so, and some examples, okay. So we start off with some, uh, some, some, I suppose, straightforward examples, first of all, okay. Uh, so let's just choose a few sets, okay. Let's say let, let A uh, equal the set that contains the values 2, 3, and four. Uh, let's say B is the set that contains the values. Let's say for argument three, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And let the universal set, so our universal set, universal okay, set uh, U, okay, uh, be the set that contains the values. Let's say for argument's sake, it contains the values one through to nine. Okay. So one, two, three all the way through to, to 9, okay? And it's actually important when we define sets that we always define them in relation to some universal set, okay? And I, I've sort of specified that in the previous videos. So what I'd like to actually construct here is, let's just do some straightforward examples, okay? Uh, the intersection of A and B, okay? So A intersectioned with B. Uh, well, we know by definition that the intersection is what two sets share, what two sh sets have in common with respect to their members, okay? So the intersection is, well, what has this set got that B also has, okay? So what's in A that's also in B, and what's in B that's also in A, but we only need to do this one way, okay? And we see that actually the commonality between set A and set B are the elements, or the members, 3 and 4. 3 and 4 occur in both sets. So the intersection of both sets is 3, 4. What about their unions? So A union with B, okay? Uh, it's a new set. The union contains all the values that are in both A or in, in B, okay? Uh, so the union of this set is going to contain the new set that is the union of A, A, A with B. Uh, it's going to contain everything that's in A, which is going to be 2, 3, and 4. And also we throw in everything that's in B. So we're going to throw in 3 and 4, but they're already listed, so we don't need to list them again. And we're going to throw in 5 and 6, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, now let's have a look at, let's say, the complement. Okay. So what is the complement of a union B. So what's A union B's complement, okay? Uh, and one way to think about the complement of a set, okay, is relative to its universe, okay? So relative to its universe. Uh, and maybe actually what we'll do is to a Venn diagram, we'll just do a Venn diagram of this particular universe, okay? And don't forget the universe are the, is the values from 1 to 9, okay? So we have a universe that looks something like this. This is our universe. We have two sets. We've got the set A, We've also got the set B. Uh, first of all, what they have in common is the points three and four. So three and four are in common. A also contains the value two, okay? So two is here. So you, now we can actually see that the set A, maybe I should close this off, the set A contains the values two, three, and four. But three and four are in common with both sets. And the set B contains the values three and four, which are here defined in the intersection, but also five and six, okay? But the universe contains all the values from 1 through to 9, okay? So you can see that the value 1 ain't included anywhere in this particular set, so 1 must be somewhere out here in the universe. 2 is included, 3 is, 4 is, 5 is, 6 is, 7 ain't, 8 ain't, and 9 ain't. So they should be, they're still in the universe, but they're not contained within any, within any of these sets. So there's our, there's our, there's our universe to find here. And what we'd like to define is we'd like to define the complement of A union with B. Now, the complement is everything outside of A union with B. Now, another way to write the complement would be that the complement of any set, yeah, the complement, uh, the complement of any set would be the universe, okay, without, okay, the actual set itself, A union with B. In other words, it's the universe when we take away it's what's left in the universe after we take away A union with B, okay? Well, here's the universe here. When we take away A union with B, in other words, when we take away these two sets, what's left behind is 1, 7, 8, and 9, okay? So actually what we have here is that A union with B. Actually, let me put in this set, the universe. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 
And what we need to subtract from it is we need to take away from it, we need to take away the values, well, the union, A union with B are the values 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, okay? And you can see actually, let's take them values out of here. So I'm going to take the 2 out of here, so that's gone. I'm going to take the 3 out of here, so it's gone. I'm going to take the 4 out of here, so it's gone. I'm going to take the 5 out, it's gone. And I'm going to take the 6 out, so it's gone. And you can see here, that actually, that what's left behind, yeah, okay? What's left behind A union with B's complement is equal to the set that contains these values here, 1, 7, 8, and 9. So it contains 1, 7, 8, and 9, okay? Uh, so that's let's say one example here two examples and here's our third example yeah of sets okay what about if we want to calculate something like okay let me just maybe move the page here okay say if we want to calculate something like what is what is a intersection would be crossed with a okay and don't forget, we know we've already defined A intersection with B, okay, to be equal to, A intersection with B is equal to the values 3 and 4, okay? And we know that A, in what we defined earlier on, is 2, 3, and 4. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to create the cross product between A intersection with B, which is a set, needs to be crossed with, with the set A. And to do that, we'll just use our construction technique, where we list the domain elements down here, which is A intersectioned with B. So they get listed down here. Well, A intersection with B is three and four. And we list A, okay, the right-hand side, the right-hand operator operand into the into the cross product, okay, which is an A, gets listed across here, which is two, three, and four. And we build the ordered pairs, yeah, okay? Uh, so three gets associated with two, okay? Three gets associated with three, three gets associated with four, 4 gets associated with 2, 4 gets associated with 3, 4 gets associated with 4, okay? So actually the set, 